discuss what is sovereign debt discuss the various ways in which government can generate it and what principles should it should guide this process okay so sovereign debt is basically the debt of the government whatever debt it is uh, raising from the market from within the country or from outside the country that is basically okay. sovereign debt okay so uh, you know state governments they can get loans from central government but whenever central government needs a loan it needs to raise it whether through the treasury bills you know the money market instruments are there or it can go for the financing from uh, maybe world bank or maybe some other investment source i have seen it all can yes, state government jab debt raise karegi mm -hmm. can this also be called as sovereign debt sovereign is mostly one in any state and that is the center mm -hmm. so whenever you relate to sovereign debt it's the central government Okay. Okay. So, can states foreign say debt raise can they? They are eligible? No, they are not uh, eligible for raising directly from foreign country. Okay. Whenever you need any debt from any country, it has to be the central government. It has been through central government. It has to be central government. Okay. If they need finance mm -hmm. in of any sort, they can come to two two ways. Either they can have their own bonds, treasury bills, so we central governments के लिए use करते हैं. State government के bonds होते हैं. है ना तो वो उनके through जा सकते हैं. इवन म्यूनसिपल गवर्नमेंट जो है वो भी अपने बॉन्ड्स लेके आ सकता है सो वो तो है उनके पास एक ऑप्शन है बट अदरवाइज अगर उनको कोई लोन बाहर से लेना है तो वो उनके लिए कोई ऑप्शन नहीं वो सेंटर गवर्नमेंट के ठीक व्हाट आर द प्रिंसिपल्स दैट वुड गाइड एबिलिटी टू रेज सोवरेन डेट बाय अ नेशन इट्स अ सिंपल सी बात है चादर देख के पैर बिछाने चाहिए तो जितना लोन वापस कर सकते हो उतना ही लो पहली बात दूसरा एक हमेशा फिजिकल प्रूडेंस का एक क्वेश्चन दिमाग में आना चाहिए कि जब भी मैं कोई लोन ले रहा हूँ तो कैश को मैं टाइमली रीपे कर पाऊंगा मेरी इंटरेस्ट जो बर्डन है वो बहुत ज्यादा बढ़ेगा तो नहीं और ये इंटरेस्ट बर्डन बढ़ाना या कम करना जो है ये आपके सेविंग रेट के साथ मिलना चाहिए अगर इकोनॉमी में सेविंग रेट अच्छा है तो देन यू कैन रेज अप एज मच एज सोवरन डेप्ट यू वॉन्ट टू फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन जपान देर सोवरन डेप्ट इज फोर हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑफ द जी डी पी चाइना लाइक यू सिंग टू फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ जी डी पी सो इन दीज इकोनॉमी यू हैव लॉट सेविंग रेट inherently when the domestic sector mm -hmm. so these governments are able to repay the interest payment without any problem but in india their saving rate is somewhere near 7.7% so if your fiscal deficit is 4% and your saving rate is 7.7% uh, cumulatively you are going to take loans you know out of the private equity tank and that loan is going to go there so out of 7.7% 4% goes to the fiscal deficit mm -hmm. you know for the sovereign debt and uh, 1.5% in india is required for public sector units for their debt management so you are left only with 1.2% for any kind of investments so what about the corporate saving see corporate saving is hardly there in economy okay. in any time you make extra money profit etc so corporate solvers would like to reinvest into their uh, company and uh, gain further size okay. which is called the organic growth you know mm -hmm. so that kind of growth or inorganic growth they would mergers and acquisitions so mm -hmm. that is what they would like to do Rather than uh, have savings, uh, do uh, macroeconomic uh, macroeconomic dynamics such as current account deficit, mm -hmm. inflation rate, mm -hmm. trade deficit, mm -hmm. do these impact if in a country's ability to raise sovereign debt? Of course, of course. See, whenever there is a higher current account deficit, for example, that means you don't have enough for foreign exchange, mm -hmm. right? So, simply stated, if you are raising loan or money from outside. and you have to pay back in foreign exchange and you have less of it mm -hmm. so you be better be wary of the fact yes okay. so your ability is always always restricted with respect to whatever foreign exchange you are holding for example world bank offers loans you loans to you through ida as well as ifc right now ida loans are repayable in your own currency home currency mm -hmm. they have a long repayment period 40 40 years with a 10 year extension also mm -hmm. so that kind of loans you can take easily mm -hmm. you don't have to think much but if you are having a current account deficit also lot of inflation also that means less of foreign exchange and so on so in those terms other sorts of loans which you intend to take they must be in a restricted sense okay. so that some kind of uh, you know responsibility is there with respect to fiscal okay uh, so what is the role played played by credit rating agencies in sovereign debt yeah so the bonds of any government the treasury bills for example they are always rated you know by its uh, Oh, uh, yeah. Moody's for example, there's Moody's and Fitch, yeah, Standards and Poor. Yeah, so yeah, they, yeah, yeah. Crystal, 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 Crystal. Mm -hmm. So sovereign bonds are always rated by these uh, agencies, mm -hmm. and accordingly, the investments come in. You know, somebody would like to invest in your sovereign bond only if it is having a good 
uh, investor confidence and which is provided by these rating agencies. Mm -hmm. But you know, these rating agencies always have a kind of flawed analysis. They are looking over the shoulders to give you that kind of ranking. They look over to the, for example, if Moody's and Fitch is going to give you some ranking, it will look into Samuel Puruwale Kakar rank and so on. Uh, I'll give you the example of uh, 2008 financial crisis in America. Therein, see, American securities are always triple A rated. Yes, with respect to investment. But still, financial crisis happened because back in the day, nobody was looking into the question as what is exactly backing those securities. Nobody went into that question. They just said, Ki, Theke, triple A rated, invest mm -hmm. So they went into that scenario. Now, you need to create an investor confidence in your economy. Whenever you are looking for sovereign debt, I think three or four equations we can now correlate. Like you should have enough saving, saving scenario, better investor confidence, and fiscal prudence in the longer term sense. And uh, you should be no, no, nowhere near the BOP crisis like we had in 1990s, right? Mm -hmm. Foreign exchange reserves should always be buoyant so that uh, whatever fiscal uh, responsibility you want to carry, it should be able to carry in a sustainable manner, right? isn't it? Uh, See? So in which currency do we usually uh, take uh, raise loans? Should it be dollar dominated, okay. denominated, or should it be yen or yuan denominated? Okay. Which is a better currency to take loans in? Wherever you get lesser rate of interest. Uh, but sir, what about the uh, exchange rate? Exchange rate, see, uh, we have currency swap agreements, we have exchange rates, everything is there mm -hmm. in place. So if a country allows you a currency swap at a very mm -hmm. less or nominal price, I think that can go forward. So lesser the rate of interest, lesser the cost of loan, I think that is the better way to generate a loan. Yeah. So that should yes. do it? Yes. Okay. Yes. Thanks.